Hello artists. Today I will be making a brick wall. This will be a tutorial on how to paint a brick wall using simple acrylic paints. We will start off here by using a canvas and just out lining a canvas with some lines to create some lines that will eventually be the bricks. Eventually, we will move on and we will start laying the other shape to create that rectangular look a brick has. Now, when you make bricks, you do not want it to look kind of look, no, not like wood, but you want it to be spaced apart as you see I'm doing here. That creates a brick texture that you really want if you're trying to get a kind of brick kind of look. To make this, I used some colors, obviously. I used a red. And um, when using the red, I mixed it up. And so we're going to use red. white and black to start off with. Took me a little bit of time because one of them had this, the black wasn't opened yet. So tried to show how you open a paint bottle. These are the colors we will be starting off with. These are not all the colors we'll be using. We will use more. But for now, we're going to stick to this. Now that I have squirted the black in, I will mix a bit to create a darker look because bricks aren't usually apple, rat, berry, strawberry kind of red. They're pretty dark red. Maybe, maybe more like raspberry, actually. So I'm going to take the tiniest bit of black and put it into the red. And you should grab another brush. To, I mean, this is optional, but I grabbed another brush to kind of spread it out a bit. And then you I'm gonna grab the black and mix it together. Mix for a few seconds until you think that it's the black has really mixed in with the red and it's now one color, not just two. Once completed, we will put the red all over the canvas. Cover the whole canvas with the paint. It helps to have these pencil sketches, so 
later on, when we're outlining the bricks, we already have some an idea of where it's going to go. And then, when we were working on the pencil sketches, we could erase if needed. I recommend using a much bigger brush than I am. I'm going to switch super soon. About to switch, realizing this is going to take forever. When, when making this video, I didn't realize how long it would take just to um, paint the camp whole canvas. It took like 20 minutes, so I had to cut that out. As you see, I'm trying to make keep the texture of like the pinky kind of texture look of the book of the red because bricks have texture. They're not like marble that's like perfect. So you do want texture. I recommend circling around with your brush. It really adds that kind of textury look that bricks kind of have. Now this is where I switch to a different brush for size reasons. If you have to paint a whole canvas, unless it's like the smallest canvas ever, two by two, I don't know if that even exists, but use a, a big brush. Don't use a small one. It's, it'll kill up your time. Now that I have started painting a little, I've been ch changing up the color to in my pleasure, meaning that I'm changing the color if I don't like want it to be a little darker or lighter. Also, it is realistic to have different colored bricks, like one color brick to be a different color than the other. That is pretty common. I'm not doing that here, although um, in some areas the red's a tiny bit lighter, as you can probably see. On this. Sometimes it helps to just go over the color, and if you think that that color needs to kind of blend in with the other one, which is almost an always yes, uh, you should um, mix it into the other color. Not on the palette, but um, actually on the canvas. It really blends it in and kind of gives it like that different color kind of look sun shining in that area. Now that I have completely painted my canvas, I am going to start outlining the bricks. I am going to start using by using my black. And I'm just going to, I'm going to outline the whole brick. And it helps to use a very small brush on this because obviously it's not like a brick's gonna be like giant. Like the hole in the brick is gonna be a giant thing. You also want to keep in mind um, that this is gonna change a bit. Like once we put like the white in. It's going to look a tiny bit different. I'm going to kind of fix up the imperfections if you have any. Now you just want to go over the pencil lines you drew. 
as you see I'm doing here, it helps um, make the drawing more aligned and whatnot. For this um, painting, I am going to do some vegetation around it. At, in the end, I'm going to make some vines around it. I will show you guys how to do that at the end of the video. As you see, my hands are very dirty because of all the paint that's gotten on me. I'd recommend just grabbing a paper towel as I did and just tapping your hand and just rubbing it on the paper towel. Obviously not on a table, but on a paper towel. Uh, so as you see, I have finished laying the bricks. However, there's a big, like about half of my canvas that hasn't been, had the bricks laid out. That's because that's where my vine's going to be. It's going to be like a green, bushy kind of vine with some flowers on it. Flowering vine. So this is where you want to figure out where you want your light is pointing to. If your light is pointing the way I am, just follow what I do, but if your um, light's pointing the opposite way, you can highlight the other side that I didn't. As you notice, I'm not going over the black. You want to make sure you don't go over the black because you want to make sure because there's part of it that's getting very little sunlight too. And there's also a part that's getting a ton, all the light. So you have to reflect that in your painting. I am just using very simple acrylic paints in this um, painting because it's easier for you, it's easier for you to access. So this is where I do my vines. As you see, I have finished um, with putting the white in and it looks very good. I want like a brick as I would hope so I'm just going to use some regular green and I'm going to stop the video and just finish it doing um, putting the green in but I am going to definitely edit it a lot as you probably saw at the starting screen I put a bunch of purple flowers on it. I changed its lighting, kind of. I put some color to it so it doesn't look like it does right now. But it does have a realistic shape to it. So, that's good. I decided to put some yellow and mix it with a tiny bit of green and put it along the edge of the vine so I can kind of get that kind of get that thing that my brick used where my light was shining that way so I'm going to make it shine the same way on this too The other side is my lighter section, I think. I messed up a little and I mixed it up that 
um, I thought the light would be shining the other way, but technically it's not that much of a difference in, in lightness perspective, but it is definitely like seeably a different color. Okay, now I'm like taking some white and green and whatnot and just covering it. Already looking 10 times better than I did before. You want to make sure only the very edges are like that yellowish color because it's not like the whole thing's going to be. Although sometimes it is kind of realistic to put some, put some stuff, like put some yellow in it at times. But you should try to keep it at the very edge. Uh, uh, so now I'm trying to really make it show that, like, that side's, like, very much the whitest when it's not. But it still looks fairly realistic considering... And maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a light shining the opposite way, too. You just have to bob off it sometimes. Okay, I, did, I put a ton of white on this. Just kept on, like, dabbing white on it to get that kind of leafy look. And now I'm going to be um, placing some purple flowers. I just looked, on, I looked online and I saw that those of those, like, Flowering vines have like purple flowers, and yes, there are like many other colors, but I thought this would look nice with some purple flowers. So I just made a bunch like they kind of look like grapes, just make them look like grapes, like a bunch of grapes. Just make a bunch of dots and put it in like a grape kind of look when they're all bunched together. So, and then. You do want to go over the edge. Now, you should let it dry before you do all this. Like, don't do it automatically. Let it dry for a little so that the purple doesn't get mixed up with the other colors and the other colors don't get mixed up in the purple. Now, it is... This is, a, by all means, an optional step. Like, if you want to do this, like... You don't have to. Oh, and as you may see, I filled in the areas um, that were non with no bricks in with bricks because I because it's not realistic to just stop the bricks and have it red all of a sudden. So I just continued the pattern. And obviously, as you can probably tell, the um the vine is going to be over the brick. So the bricks are going to go under the vine. So when the vine's there, the bricks are not going to be there. They're going to be hidden. So that's why I was trying to um I didn't do that part that side. And I realized that these just look like big purple, just a purple. Just, they look super bland, so I put some white on them. To make purple, as I did, I used blue and red, and in this case, a little bit of white to kind of get an indigo ish kind of color. At first I was putting dots um, all over the, hot, the lighted side, but then I tried it on one with all of them, and I, all, the whole side, and I really liked it, so I decided to just do that. And you can still see the purple in it, but it really just brings out like the flower, which looks really nice. As, and you will see this at the very end in a quick photo montage.
This can be done with very simple acrylic paints. They don't have to be those ones that cost like $20 from a store. They can be those, like you can just have like, obviously the three colors you definitely need when you're making this is red, black, and white. But besides that, like, I mean, you have a choice to do the vine. Like, like I just did that because I, I didn't feel like just doing bricks the whole area. And I kind of wanted to make something interesting, too, besides just bricks. Obviously, technically, this whole thing is optional. Now, the thing inside the bricks is usually concrete. So, that's why I kind of put the white area in it. And it also kind of reflects the light. So, it looks very nice. And... Also, with the black, it kind of looks like a shadow-ish, so I really like that. Anyways, thanks for watching my tutorial. Please subscribe and like and comment for anything else I should do.